Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos on Dead by Daylight. Today I'll be discussing the possible nerfs that will be coming to the game and specifically to Freddy, Undying, and uh, a nerf that I kind of want and I'll kind of explain when I get to it and that would be to Barbecue and Chili. So first let's talk about Undying. So Undying, um, the developers have said that it's overperforming and it's being used too much obviously the reason that undying is being used a ton since its release is that it helps complement the bad spawning for ruin and other totems so it, it like it's a band-aid fix to the problem with everyone having to you know worry about totems totems being that when ruin when you start the game with ruin uh, a survivor will spawn near it and destroy it and thus nullifying the perk and you not having a perk for the rest of the game Obviously, since uh, Undying lets it respawn, it also lets you see when a survivor is near a totem. It's kind of strong as if you have, if you have a fast killer like Nurse, Blight, uh, Hillbilly, you can get back to the survivor before they can break it. And that's a little bit too oppressive in their opinion. And since, you know, a lot of killers are using it and a lot of survivors are complaining, they're kind of take a look at it to see what they can do to nerf it. In my opinion, if they have to nerf Undying, I personally would prefer if they would just get rid of the aura reading ability so that way you don't know when a survivor is on the totem itself. I know that would make it useless to use on its own since some people do use undying by itself so that way they can see survivors messing with totems. But mostly the reason people use it is so that way if they lose their hex totem right off the bat it will respawn on a dull totem. and that's mainly why people use undying just to be like you know that's the primary use of it people use it with hollowed hollowed grounds hex uh hex devour hope hex thrill of the hunt sometimes i don't know why some people do that um and what was the other one the one that blinds you i don't really use it too much so i don't really remember the name but those those types of perks are the the ones that mainly go with Undying. Also, uh, Huntress Lullaby, yeah. But the tokens don't really work, so it doesn't really need to be nerfed there. So yeah, if they were to nerf Undying, I hope they, hopefully that's what it is. I would hate for them to use a cooldown on it, because I really do not like when perks have cooldowns. Blood Favor is one with a cooldown, and it's so stupid, because it already is a Hex Totem. You don't need to put a cooldown on a Hex Totem. Like, ugh, it's just, it's just kind of frustrating to see how, like, they're so scared of making something too strong, and then they make it ass after they nerf it. So if they have to do something, they I would prefer they remove the aura reading ability. At least that's like, you know, you can work around it. it. It's still it can still have its purpose of respawning the totem if they get it, you know, right off the bat. Um, as for like the tiers, since there's like three tiers to the perk, I don't know what they would have to do with it because like, I don't know, the three tier thing is kind of stupid at this point with how many perks are in the game. So if they would do away with the tiers, this wouldn't be an issue at all. You wouldn't have to design three versions of the same perk and make a worse version that you start off with just to accommodate this um, outdated practice when you didn't have that many perks in the game. So now moving on to Freddy. Freddy is uh, one of the top killers now and the developer said that he's overperforming also, meaning that he's getting too many 4Ks and too many of the top rank 1 killer um yeah killer people are using him and uh, the survivors think he's too oppressive so what freddy has going for him is he has mat pressure since he can teleport and he's good in the chase with his snares and his fake pallets since uh, if you're not vigilant and you step on him you, you, you he messes up your loop and if you don't know what is a fake pallet you basically waste uh you know you're gonna get hit or go down at that fake pallet there's nothing really can do once you get to that and another thing is uh his oblivious status effect when he when you fall asleep when he hits you or if the timer just runs out and you fall asleep um borrow time is useless against freddy when you're asleep and thus he can he's really good at camping so if they were to nerf him i would I prefer if they remove the oblivious status effect when you're asleep and uh when you wake up you can wake up through other survivors and not be penalized because as it is right now if a survivor does the snap snap clap clap wake up to wake you up uh if they do it too many times with the with the same survivor it starts to you, you start to 
take longer to wake up. It it penalizes you. It slows you down. I don't know what like the math is to it, but like it becomes impractical to wake each other up by by doing that because it by at that point you might as well just go get a clock to wake you up because it's it's uh, it, it just takes too long and you're wasting too much time. Um, obviously, this was put in to incentivize you to rather wake yourself up through blowing up a generator, which is not a good idea because it lets you, it lets Freddy know where you are. It also regresses your generator, but but mainly to wake yourself up through the clocks, which spawn the fur you it spawns the furthest clock away from you when you go to sleep. So you got to cross the map to go wake up. So you're constantly on the move as a survivor. If you fall asleep, you either wake yourself up through a blowing up a generator, a survivor wakes you up, or going through the clock. If they were to nerf this, simply removing the, the penalty of a survivor constantly waking you up would be good because more people that are asleep makes Freddy stronger. More people are susceptible to his snares, his fake pallets, he gets his teleportation faster. So if more people are waking each other up through the snap, snap, clap, clap action, it would be a nerf to Freddy since he can teleport less and less people are affected by his fake pallets and uh, snares. So that's like a simple nerf right there. I really do not want them to put like a cooldown or, or something on his teleportation or his snares or something because that seems like ugh, like a bit too much. Like what they would, what they did with Hillbilly, giving him what they did to Hillbilly was just excessive in my opinion. They basically just nerfed him into the ground because they didn't want Hillbilly to be the top killer for as long as he was. So yeah, they just nerfed the hell out of him. And lastly, we're going to be talking about Barbecue and Chili. Uh, most people don't think Barbecue and Chili needs a nerf again since it's been nerfed a bunch. Since people can hide behind generators, hide in lockers before you couldn't do that. And then other perks to counteract the aura reading ability. What I mean is that the reason a nerf would be suggested for barbecue and chili would be because it's one of the top used perks but it's not really used to, as like a top perk because of its aura reading ability mo mainly because of its blood points everyone needs blood points and barbecue and chili helps with the grind because the grind in this game is a lot especially now with all these killers and like how many perks you need to get and trying to get all the perks for all the killers and Especially for me when I try to prestige three all my killers barbecue and chili is absolutely necessary And it never leaves my build because of that reason so a nerf to barbecue and chili Which would not be a nerf to it, but to like get it off the top most used perks would be to get the four point like the four point stack and put that as a base kick thing for for killers that way it incentivizes killers to hook and then move on to another survivor so they can get all four stacks and this would be like in the little corner where the perks are and that and in between in the center of that all those four perks would be the four and then it counts up as you hook the survivors that you need to hook to gain all four stacks this would work the same as with uh, uh we're gonna live forever if they were to do that with that since before the last update we're gonna live forever uh didn't really do anything other than give you stacks for saving people so now that it actually does something that would go well with that um and it would it would really diversify the perks in my opinion and help with the grind especially since they're not doing blood hunts um they used to do blood hunts every chapter to help you know level up your new killer but they haven't done one for a while they didn't do one with the blight i don't think and they surely didn't do one with the twins so you kind of absolutely need if you want to get like to level up your killers you need barbecue and chili and to level up your survivors you need we're gonna live forever so incorporating that four point uh stack token thing into base kit for survivors and killers would really incentivize um the killers to hook more and not camp and incentivize survivors to not leave you on the hook and die instantly i mean it i don't like being one hooked as a as a survivor and then being left to die because my survivors just don't want to help me so this would be a great way to uh help with that um and that's basically all i want to discuss in this video uh th tell me what you think if you think my ideas are stupid or if you think uh you have better ideas to uh, help with the nerfs or or buffs or changes to the game i would greatly appreciate it if you left me feedback in the comments so, uh, yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of this gameplay as I'm going to let it play for however long it is. I don't really time it. It should be over here soon anyways. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'll see you later.